Hey, Chris Ferdinandi here with another Vanilla JS quick tip. Let's get into it. JavaScript provides a handful of methods that you can use to get, set, remove, and check for attributes on an element. In this example, I have attributes, a handful of data attributes on a lunch order paragraph, data sandwich, data chips, and data drink. I'm going to get that element with the document query selector method, and then I'm going to use the get attribute method to get the value of the data sandwich attribute. Um, now, the way this works, I don't have to pass the attribute selector um, square brackets around it. I just pass in the name of the attribute. And um, if I log that into the console and jump over to the browser, you can see that returns tuna, which is what we would expect. Similarly, I can use the set attribute method to set the value of an attribute. In this case, I am going to um, call set attribute on my element. I'm going to pass in data sandwich, the first argument as the attribute I want to set. And then the second attribute is the value. Both of these are required. So even if you don't need an attribute um, value, you need to pass in an empty string in that case. Uh, but this is going to update data sandwich from tuna to chicken. And if I were to jump over here and inspect the console, you can see that data sandwich uh, now equals turkey. Did I say chicken? That's wrong. Um, the uh, remove attribute method, as the name implies, removes attributes from an element. So in this case, I am going to call the remove attribute method on my element, and I'm going to pass in data chips, the attribute to remove as an argument. If I come over to the browser and reload, you can see that that data attribute is now gone. Finally, if you want to check if an element uh, or an attribute exists on an element, you can use the has attribute method. And in this case, I'm going to look for the data drink attribute. And if it exists, I'm going to log add a drink to the console. Um, in this case, it does exist. Uh, this is going to return a Boolean, true if it exists, false if it does not. And uh, if I jump over to the console and reload, you can see add a drink logs to the console. Now, you don't um, need to be limited to just data attributes for this. Um, this works with all sorts of attributes. So I could, um, I could say get attribute ID and console log that. Um, so uh, here, let's go let ID equal and log that into the console. And you can see that is going to log lunch. Um, so a lot of flexibility here, really great collection of methods. If you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe and maybe even share it with someone else you think might enjoy it. You can also get my daily developer tips newsletter over at gomakethings.com where every weekday I share a new tip, trick, tool, or vanilla JS snippet to help you build a simpler and more resilient web. Thanks so much for watching.